you'll be scarred for life. Yeah, you <laughs> Way to go, Killer Cleaver. Nice game, kid. Thanks, Jason. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Aren't you going to thank him? <laughs> uh, Cleaver, could you? Hi, Jason. Could you lend me a dollar? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, kid. the difference. Wally's gonna hate that thing no matter where you put it. Oh, I don't know. By the time he notices it, he'll probably be too embarrassed to say anything. <laughs> Hi, honey. How'd the game go? We won. Cheer up, sweetheart. Maybe next week you'll lose. What was that knee? Maybe I better get some band-aids. Oh, no need. I've got some right here. You carry band-aids around? When you live with Oliver Cleaver, you can never be too prepared. <laughs> when does a girl know she's turning into a woman? Did you unlock the cable TV box again? No. I was just wondering. Well, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Oh, I remember exactly when it happened to me. It was the day your father was born. Well, isn't there anything between being me and being a mom? Well, let's see. I think for me, it was the day I got my first bra. I got home from school one afternoon, and my mom said she had a surprise for me. So she took me to Woolworths, and I thought, oh boy, an easy bake oven. But instead, I got fitted for a bra. And I walked out of that store a different person. Wow. Do you think maybe I could get a bra? Don't look at me. Wally and the beaver never ask for a bra. Good luck. So what do you say, Mom? Can I have a bra? Someday. Tomorrow? That wasn't the day I had in mind. Tell you what, honey. You can have a bra just as soon as you're ready. You think I'm a baby, don't you? Oh, honey, that's not true. Your father and I are always bragging about how mature you are for your age. Sure you are. Oh, Kelly, believe me, we are so proud of what a fine young lady you really are. Hi! Hey, furry, furry! That was Daddy's little baby pumpkin rabbit ears. <laughs> how can you do this to me? Uh, I knew I should have gone for Artie Aardvark. Not quite the problem. Ah, uh, she lost her game, huh? I'll go talk to her. Oh, uh, Wally, wait. Honey, she wants a bra. What for? It seems our little girl wants to be a woman. Uh, well, can't we just let her watch soap operas and eat chocolates? <laughs> Come on, it was a joke. Remember your sense of humor, the fourth reason that I married you? I'll go upstairs and see what brought this on. I'll go with you. No way. If she cries, you'll fold. I hope you eat dirt and die. I hope aliens come and take your eyeballs out and use them for marbles. Oh, yeah, Kelly? And I hope you move. Oliver, that's no way to talk to your cousin. But, Dad, she's weird. She never does any fun stuff anymore. Maybe she just doesn't want to do what you want to do today. But, Dad, who wouldn't want to dig up worms or slide down a hill in a box? Nobody I know. Get it, Dad. What's with girls anyways? 
Well, Oliver, when I was your age, I couldn't figure him out either. But after all these years, I finally come to realization. Girls are kind of goofy. <laughs> Kelly never acted like a girl before. At least not around me. She's probably got a lot on her mind. Why don't you try to be understanding? What could she have in her mind? Lots of things. Like what? Well, things you wouldn't understand. How can I be understanding if I don't understand? Here, uh, why don't you go get yourself an ice cream? Every time we have a talk and I ask you a question that you don't know the answer to, you send me out for an ice cream. Why don't you get yourself a comic book, too? Hi, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Where's Oliver going? I sent him out for ice cream. Oh? What do you want to know this time? I straighten him out about women. You know, Mom, I'm sure glad I had boys so I could pass on the benefits of my experience. I'm glad, too. I'd sure hate to see girls eating all that ice cream. Hey, Grandma. Aunt Mary Ellen's waiting out front. Oh, thank you, dear. We're going to go shopping. I'll see you in about a week. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hey, Dad. You look good today. Dad, can I talk to you? Sure. Dad, look at me. I've changed in the past year. But what you see is more than just a growth spurt. I've matured. I read more than just the sports section now. I'm getting better grades. Except for that D in geometry. It's not my fault. You see, there's this personality conflict with the teacher. <laughs> Still, I feel confident in asking you to grant me this small request. Freddie Haskell and I... No. Dad, Dad, at least just listen to my proposal before you say no. Yes. Freddie and I want to hitchhike to Fort Lauderdale for Christmas vacation. Are you done? Yeah. No. Dad. Dad, I know what you're worried about. But all those stories about riots and barfing contests are greatly exaggerated. Here. Aw, oh, Dad, I don't want any ice cream. <laughs> such a baby. Come on. Well, what if the store won't sell it to me? Suppose it's like the movies, and nobody under 18 can do it without a parent or guardian. You're buying a bra, stupid, not a machine gun. Think about it. I did. What about gym class? What if it's too tight and it cuts off my circulation and I get a nosebleed? Or what if it shows through my blouse like Mrs. Beasley in the post office? Who do you want Jason to buy sodas for with your money? You or some other girl? I should have known chicken out. Good afternoon, Mrs. Beavers. Well, hi, Peggy. Hello, Peggy. Are you here all by yourself? Oh, no, I'm with my mom. She's, uh, driving around the parking lot looking for a meter with time on it. Uh, it's because my dad lost his job. Well, we were just out with your mom and dad last night. They didn't say anything about it. My father's a very proud man. Please don't let on that you know. <laughs> oh. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye, Peggy. Bye -bye. <laughs> That poor child, her father just can't hang on to a job. That was close. We better leave before something else happens. Kelly Cleaver, your life could go two ways. Either you buy a bra right now and become a woman, or you spend the rest of your life being baby pumpkin rabbit ears. What's it gonna be? May I help you, ladies? Yeah. No. Come on. I... Um, ma'am, she'd like to buy a brassiere. I see. A red one. Honey! Hey. All right, a black one. I'm sorry, ladies, but our training bras only come in white. Ah, thanks, anyway. <laughs> She'll take the white. Who's <laughs> anyway? Would you like to try this on? Tickets to a bullfight. Kelly! You'll have to excuse her. 
she hasn't been a woman very long. Kip, taking us out for dessert was a very nice gesture. But it's not going to work. Hey, I wasn't going to mention anything about Fort Lauderdale. But as long as you brought it up. As you can see, we'll be traveling exclusively on federal highways and only through states that enforce the seatbelt law. Here's an itinerary I prepared. Make copies for everyone. Oh, can I have one? Sure. But well, why don't you stick your whole body in a vat of chocolate first? Oliver, why don't you wash your hands? Okay. In a sink like a human? Have you seen Kelly lately? Of course. I'm her best friend, not just some dumb cousin like you. Well, can you give her a message for me? What? <laughs> no wonder Kelly doesn't hang around with you anymore. She's such a melon head. Yeah, well, she's a needle nose. How would you feel if you wanted a bra and your mom and dad wouldn't let you? A B-R-A? Gross! You're just telling me this because you want me to get the he. You know, Oliver? I don't know why everyone keeps saying you're so naive. I think you're just plain stupid. <laughs> right. I'm stupid. Kelly, <laughs> over here. I've got something for you. And I've got something for you, too. <laughs> I guess you talk to Piggy, huh? Yeah, leave me alone. Wait. My dad says I should try to understand you, even though you're acting yucky. And I talked to Piggy, who is yucky, and it wasn't easy. So here. I already have a lunchbox. No, 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 no. Inside. Where'd you get a bra? Duffy's sister. She's got a million of them. And a whole bunch of other creepy stuff. I can't wear this. Mom will kill me. Don't worry. I got it all figured out. You put it on in school and take it off before you get home. That's what I had to do when Dad wouldn't let me wear my lucky underpants with all the holes in it. That's a great idea, Ollie. I don't know why everybody keeps saying you're so naive. Keep saying I'm naive. Thanks, Ollie. Ooh, yeah. The last time I do anything nice for you. Kelly, wait up. Look. Mom gave me was yogurt and celery. <laughs> you better not tell anybody. Do I look like the kind of person that would tell anybody? <laughs> Come on, Kelly. Show us. Oh, Kelly. You're a pioneer. A star. You're a woman. Hi, Jason. Hi, Kelly. Are you going to be at soccer practice tomorrow? There's more to life than just soccer. <laughs> like what? Like sitting next to each other in the cafeteria at lunch today. Would you like to do that? I'd be delighted. Great. See you later. <laughs>
if I join you? Well, no, but you don't play the piano. Well, sure I do. <laughs> well, you play very well. What do you say to an encore? <laughs> hey, if it isn't Steve and Edie. Did you ever knock? I'm four. I'm already in. All right, what do you want? Hey, you gotta help me out, Sam. You gotta tell the to let his kid go to Fort Lauderdale with Freddie. You know I don't interfere with my brother and his kids. Who are you kidding? Hey, knock off the racket, will ya? This is important. Look, I already promised these four guys they could have Freddie's room for as long as the rodeo's in Forget town. Forget it, Eddie. Hey, you can't do this to me. We're talking about guys that kill their own breakfast. Look, Eddie, I'm sure the beaver knows what's best for Kip. The beaver? The guy has trouble figuring out which end of a sock to put his foot in. Eddie, come here a minute. I want to show you something. Go ahead. Think it over. Have you got a minute? Yeah, sure. Let me ask you something, Wally. If your son traded one of his favorite toys for a bra, would you seek professional help? <laughs> uh, is this one of your hypothetical questions, or did this really happen? Well, Duffy's mother just called, and apparently Oliver did just that. Well, he better not have traded that fire engine I got him for Christmas. Don't worry. It was the robot I gave him. Hold on, guys. Oliver didn't get that bra for himself. I bet he got it for Kelly. Isn't she a little young for one of those things? Well, that's exactly why we didn't get her one. Now, wouldn't you have done the same thing? Oh, that's a tough one, Wally. I guess I would have given her one. <laughs> Honey, is that you? Do you... She's under the bed again. <laughs> Honey, listen. We know Ollie got you a bra. We should have realized just how much you wanted one. Sometimes it's hard for parents to admit their children are maturing. So, we're going to let you have your own bra, and uh, you can wear it anytime you want. No, you can't make me. You can't make me. Kelly, unless you're in there rearranging your shoe bag, come on out, right now. Oh, well, that's our big girl. No, now, wait a minute, honey, wait a minute. Come on, let's sit down and talk. You can say whatever you want, but I'm never going to wear a bra again. I wore one today, and I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Except for that time you changed me at the beach. I told you, I didn't want to get sand in the car. That's not what we're talking about here, Wally. Honey, you're going to go through a lot of difficult experiences growing up. But I don't ever want to grow up. I'm just going to sit in my room. That way I won't ever have to get a job, pay bills, serve jury duty, or cook dinner for my husband's boss. Oh, listen, I know some of those things sound a little frightening, especially cooking dinner for your husband's boss. It was ten years ago. You could have given me a little more notice. I would have thought that five hours was enough time to make a lousy pork chop. We'll discuss this later. Honey, hiding from your problems isn't the answer because then you'll miss some of the fun times in life. Well, sure, there's going to be some ups and downs. But I just want you to know that your mom and I are always going to be here to help smooth things out. You mean when I go to get my first bra... You'll come to the store with me? Uh, of course I will. We can even go tomorrow if you like. Thanks. But I think I'll wait a little while. Tomorrow, me and Ollie are going to fly down the hill in a box. You know, Mom, you're a genius running that movie. Well, I knew Kip wouldn't want to hitchhike after seeing blood in the pickup. <laughs> Boys, 
I'll take boys anytime. Girls are always in too big a hurry to grow up. Dad, change the on. Eastern on the Superstation, it's America's favorite junkyard genius, Red Fox on Sanford and Sons. Then, the NBA returns to the Superstation as the Dallas Mavericks take on the Boston Celtics. Now stay tuned for Down to Earth. Next.